Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and the following literary narrative question is asking about an inference we can make from the passage as a whole um, regarding something in the story here. For these, uh, you even though it says from the passage, especially if we're citing something here, like the Red Room, yes, you want to think about the passage as a whole and what we learn about that thing, uh, but really find direct evidence in any paragraph that you remember talking about this room uh, or whatever object's being described here. Of course, the first paragraph. Um, describes the Red Room in the most detail. So, um, you know, why has Jane been locked in this room? When she tries to get out, she walks by that mirror, she says it feels like a prison cell, right? She can't get out. So why is that? Um, she does say here she very seldom slept there, and she might say never indeed, unless when a chance of influx visitors at Gateshead Hall rendered it necessary to make use of all the accommodation possible. So when they had visitors, when people came to visit, she was sent over there. Um, let, let's go ahead and look at the answer choices. Uh, what you see here is none of them actually mention this. So the reason she gives is, well, a lot of people are visiting, so I had to end up in this room. But the answers here aren't giving us that. Uh, they're asking us to infer a little bit more uh, about this situation here. Thinking about the passage as a whole, thinking about the way that she feels she's been mistreated, um, the fact that you know, she seems like she was bullied by her cousin. Uh, his entire side of the family treated her very badly. She hasn't had a very nice childhood, to say the least. Um, so it looks like she's been really mistreated throughout the passage. She finds herself in this room. When she looks at herself in the mirror, she thinks of herself as a, as a ghost, uh, not really as a real person. Um, and then toward the end, she keeps on sort of thinking toward the last sentence there that... Basically, everybody disapproved of her, uh, that she was sort of the black sheep of the family. So what might be the real reason that she was put in this room, if it wasn't then just necessarily that there were visitors over? Let's go ahead and go over these answers. Her aunt's favoritism toward her own children. Well, uh, this makes sense uh, if we assume here that the aunt is referring to her cousin's uh, mom. Remember, when we're discussing the uh, relationship that she had with her cousin, uh, cousin John's violent tyrannies here. All his sisters, proud indifference, etc., etc. Uh, here we go. We got his mother's aversion. So uh, his her cousin's mother would be her aunt. So there's a reference to her, um, and it looks like well. And you, if you didn't really get that, basically that entire side of the family, there's something in that side of the family that they have against her. So definitely, it looks like here there's some favoritism against her. Um, but it does say toward here um, her own children. Uh, so, oh, sorry, favoritism uh, for her own children uh, instead of her. That makes sense. So the aunt here uh, favors her own children rather than her niece. So this actually looks like a really good answer choice. Let's see if we find something better. Jane's own bad behavior. It says nowhere that she got there because she did something bad. She's punished by, by being, put in, uh, being put there. It's because people just happen to visit. That's what this says. So we can get rid of that answer choice. Her fear of her uncle. She didn't go there out of her own will. Uh, she's locked in there. She tries to get out and she can't. So she's not there because she, she fears going outside to see her uncle. Um, and her friendship with John. Oh, she was not friends with her cousin John. Um, she calls him a tyrant here um, and really feels, you know, uh, like that entire side of the family treats her unfairly. So that's why answer choice A here is the best answer choice. I uh, hope that that helped with this problem and happy prepping.